Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Um, I honestly don't know. I, I, Plato say anything about three <laughs> parts? No one really knows because Plato's been dead for a long well, time. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. I don't know, do you think? What befell the Serene real? City? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher? Or the Earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who Not guides really. my thoughts. <laughs> well, the, the, the game makes a seeing point. Is uh, in the Mediterranean, is silent. as opposed to being out in the Atlantic. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Excuse me. It just yeah. What now? <laughs> <laughs> she won't. I can go get on a, a taxi and, and go back to Barnett College and come back like oh. days later. <laughs> she'll still be doing the thing. It's, it's amazing. Uh, Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? <laughs> like what? Show business is my whole life! Don't you ever read? <laughs> Very condescending. Sure, it's a hobby of mine. <laughs> what if I this give you something to read? Well, what if I give I you something to read? I might take a look. Would you leave? <laughs> I'm playing an adventure game, you see. Here. Well, well, the late edition. I think you, I wonder you if the can try to give one. him the art. Watch the, the lights uh, while I find out, okay? Just be like, no, I Whenever. <laughs> I'd agree if that was the lie. No, uh, no whatever. Whatever. <laughs> he takes it and walks away. No, nah, he, doesn't, he doesn't read it, and you have to go through the dialogue option again. I still remember, like, the order of these, though. It's a very simple puzzle. Although, pushing the button, is, because it's hidden by him, his body is pretty hard to do. There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through... Uh... May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of... Of... Deceit. Deceit. Thanks, Indy. Indiana Jones? You've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, great. Good night, folks. Bye! <laughs> He's just like, nope. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Other people are just sitting there like, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. Nope, he's not out here. No one here. He's not out here either. I think he's behind one of the boxes. I don't remember. Nor here either. He could have very easily hid <laughs> a multitude of other places. It's yeah. like, like duck walking behind the boxes. Just a glance. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor Uberman, fantastic news. We found the treasure we seek. Yeah, there's a, there's a wrong thing. This is, and this is this is one of them, of course, that came out initially without speech. Yeah, right? and then it was that like, might have been just recorded the wrong line. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. By Chief Harry scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? <laughs> she said Reich. She's, <laughs> she's probably probably a Nazi. Uh, this, these all don't matter, but... Uh, They'll yeah. never find enough uranium. Yeah. <laughs> of course not. That's why they're looking for the power oh, of Atlantis. Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Um, concealing? Uh, Yet you've been concealing important artifacts. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. 
So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. This is my favorite animation coming up here. What do you know? This is like throwing those papers. Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Oh. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Ever the skeptic. If, if I saw something like that, I'd be like, okay, that's that's a, that's a little at least a little interesting. I'm not I interested in I'm spiritual mumbo jumbo. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know that. Yeah. You may have just used the last bead. It doesn't. Shh. I'm getting something. Uh, archaeology. <laughs> speaks. I'm pretty he sure. He us find the <laughs> what? A, a book, yes. The lost dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. Enter the MacGuffin. I think Plato just wanted to tell a tall tale. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, earlier they said, like, it was, it was in uh, Jastro or something like that. I'm pretty sure it'd be like Yastro. Like how Todd said. I don't know. It's, maybe that's even a place. Let me look at it again. It looks like someone's still living here. <laughs> hey, look for a small bee. That's coming up, yeah. After a scene break, we'll talk to him first. Pardon me. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it? Ha! Huh. After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, Sean? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. They were stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. Mm, that's fascinating, Doctor. <coughs> Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Felipe Costa in the Aethos Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp traitor. Right, bye. Come on. Goodbye. Don't come back. Let's head for the airport. Uh, which one do I go first? I is it? I think it's this one first. It's been a while. Oh yeah. Listen. Yes. 
No, that doesn't didn't come for a while. I think we have to go back to one. How do you like the tropics? You're the one who's afraid of snakes. Great, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <would've forgotten> <laughs> yes, no one's in thinking snakes here. But what do we do now? The one advantage of having her around is she'll actually heart. always tell the player what to but do. But I'm not setting Which I think is what makes the witch path hole. supposedly like harder as it is, though. Well, I'm going to explore the area. Go right ahead. I'll wait here. This is not all that great. <laughs> yeah. I remember you doing it. If I recall correctly, I walk toward it first. Over here. I, th he need I want him to stand, I think, next to that one? I think maybe if I use my whip. That critter's too far away. That critter's too far away. Oh my goodness, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I think it's this one, but I don't know how to get him to stand there. Maybe if I walk toward him like one more time. Oh, did he reset? Oh man, I think he reset. No. Oh no, that's that's the one. Okay. Oh no, death. Good old Mother Nature. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. What do we do now? We better find Sternhard. Pro she's probably a Nazi. Let's, uh, take stuff over here. No. Okay. Just a minute. That's my shop. Can I help you with something? Postcard, replicas of the temple, souvenir mugs. Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals claim my an Indian student. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of what? primitive savages, or does it seem uh, much too similar? You know, he wants to... That's, that's now. I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy, you're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. Does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself, but old legends and rumors die hard. What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. <laughs> so women. <laughs> what are men who are not men? Who knows? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. Do you actually believe Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh, no! What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the Lost Dialogue. <coughs> Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the...